Greetings and happy Sabbath. It gives me pleasure today to greet my Northeastern Conference family. First of all, I want to thank all of you who have prayed for me, asking God to heal me. Today, I am giving you a praise report that the Lord has heard your prayers. I am fully restored to health and healed. We want to greet our conference family during a time of crisis. Our churches have not been functioning. The buildings have been closed, but we know that church is much more than a building. And so we want to give God praise for all of you who continue to worship, even remotely. For those of you who continue to serve the community through food pantries and other services. For those of you who, in spite of everything, are being faithful and returning your tithes and offerings to keep the mission of the church going. It is a troubling time. The psalmist asks, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And that is our hope, that is our prayer for our churches, for our pastors, for our teachers, for our workers, for our members everywhere during this difficult period. We also grieve to know that we have lost 17 believers here in the Northeastern Conference in the past couple of weeks. We have scores of members who are ill, some are hospitalized, and we continue to pray for you that God will put the healing touch and deliver you and bring you home. We just wanted to take a moment today and greet our church to encourage you to be faithful, to stand strong with the Lord, and he will bring all of us through this. Join me now in a moment of prayer. Father in heaven, I thank you again for your healing touch. I thank you for everything you have done. We want to lift up our church community before you, every worker, every pastor, every member, every church, we know that we are living through difficult days. This is not the end of itself, but it is a foretaste of bigger calamities that will come before the Son of Man comes. Encourage and strengthen our church. Bless us and watch over us. I pray in a special way for the medical professionals, both in our church and the community at large who are risking their own lives and health to deliver your people. Visit every clinic, every hospital, every dispensary, where your people are seeking treatment. We count on you, the great physician, to bring complete healing to this nation, to this world. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Northeastern family. May God bless you. Let us continue praying one for the other.